what is going on guys and welcome to m traders this is mando and today we're going to be talking about natural gas and later on eventually i'll be talking about something else depending on what i see out in the market so i know it's been a while since i made my last video but now that finally things have calmed down a bit i'm able to start making videos again so with no further ado let's get started So welcome back to the channel. Let's get right to it. Right now, I'm looking at UNG, the United States Natural Gas Fund. And why do I look at UNG instead of, you know, the natural gas futures? The main reason is because it doesn't have uh, the the price rollover of the contracts doesn't affect the price of uh, UNG. So you can actually see, have a better um, sight of price action when it comes to UNG. However, you still need natural gas. Uh, futures to look at because it also tells you you know what the prices are going to be for the months for the contract months that are coming up so you always want to be looking at this because basically is this is what people are going to be paying for the natural gas uh, usage so if there's not a lot of demand the natural gas prices are going to drop and like we see right over here this is in the one hour chart chart for natural gas we saw that natural gas tried after the roll already tried to push right above the what is it this one is the 50 percent retracement lane once twice three times and it couldn't go above and then it obviously it just kept on dropping i did train natural gas i got out on when was it wednesday i had ung calls i got out on wednesday for the simple reason that natural gas did not break this Fibonacci retracement. And if you guys see the EMA line, this is my EMA nine on the one hour chart, the exponential moving average. It actually stayed pretty flat. It wasn't, you know, you didn't see quite a bit of nice bullish push. You know, you know it kind of stayed flat. So I actually decided to get out because it couldn't break above this and I'm still out. I'm waiting for a better decent setup to see if I'm gonna go long or, or short. Um, depending on what the weather model says. So if you are not familiar with HFIR weather website, I highly recommend it. That's one of the services that I use when it comes to fundamental trading in accordance to weather. So, and they actually make it very simple. So if you are interested, after I go a little bit in detail on what I'm seeing, uh, if you like it, I'll make sure to put the link on the on the description down below. So make sure you go to the description and click on that link. And if you like it, go ahead and sign up. They have uh, various types of programs and I do highly recommend it. So let's get to it. So right now I'm looking at the ECMWF EPS long range. So this is the long range ECMWF. And if you're not an expert on weather, you know, they do have an artificial intelligence um, weather bot, uh, per se, which helps you explain or for you to understand what each cluster means when it comes to weather. If you have warmer weather or colder weather, what does that mean depending on the season of the year? So if you like to trade natural gas or you want to get into natural gas trades, I do highly recommend it because it helps you explain what this um, weather does to the demand when it comes to natural gas. So right now, we're just gonna go really quick, uh, week one. So week one, this is the ECMWF long range again. Week one was neutral with signs of both warm and cold. Week two was slightly bullish. Week three was pretty much the entire thing was bullish. The cluster was about 85% bullish. Week four was bearish. Week uh, because yeah, ninety nine percent bearish, and kind of explains to you, you know, uh, bearish with warm weather likely decreasing gas heating demand for population centers across the U.S. All right, uh, so that's what I meant by it helps you explain a bit more into detail what that means for natural gas demand. So you know, supply and demand games. Higher demand, lower supply means prices are going to go up. That's my college explanation of supply and demand. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, week number five, 27% bullish, 45% bearish, 27% neutral. 
that doesn't help me much when it comes to trades, but it helps me in deciding not to get in on, on any trades for the time being because it's, there's no clear direction where the weather is going. So I'm still going to be looking at future reports to see what it's going to do. Week number six, the cluster is 33% bullish, 66% bearish. So if I'm gonna put my two cents, I think natural gas prices are going to continue with, uh, with a downtrend until we start to see a different change on uh, on the weather. So we need to see more colder weather in order for us to uh, see higher prices of natural gas. And hopefully, you know, that gives us a good entrance on the price for UNG. And I like to trade UNG because I buy the actual options. I do not buy the actual uh, ticker itself or the stock itself. I buy the options because it's, for me, I think risk reward is there, especially with you know longer expiration dates. I do like it much, much better. So let's look at, these are the sh short term weather models. So it's not there, they do not go out six weeks like, um, like the long range, but it's a little bit more accurate in my opinion for the next, you know, two, three weeks. So you are able to see a little bit better. So the one to five day, it's bearish. Six to uh, 10 day is neutral. 10 to 15 day is bullish. Uh, 10 to 15 day, 37% bullish, 67% neutral. Uh, the 15 day forecast is 58% bullish, 40% bearish. So again, if I put my two cents based on what I'm seeing, you know, I do think that the price is gonna continue the downtrend for a while. Uh, let's look at the GFS, because usually GFS and CM, ECMWF do not always agree on the outlook of the weather. So the one to five day for the GFS is bearish, six to seven day is bullish, 10 to 15 day is bullish with cold weather likely increasing heating demand population centers across the US. So again, they do not quite um, are in the same page, not always, but if I was to put my money where, not my mouth is, but where the weather is, I would rather choose ECMWF because in my opinion, it's a little bit more accurate. So it also gives you a snapshot on the TDDs, the total day degrees, which is how we measure consumption on natural gas. So the TDDs have been increasing, it increased, and then it kind of, you know, flattened out towards the 19 and the 21. And we're starting to see a kind of an increase towards the end, but not necessarily it's the best setup for me to go long. i rather go short and short any type of rallies currently at these levels. And then if weather changes, then I might choose to go, um, you know, long again. So for now, I think I'm gonna be shorting all the rallies for now. Uh, looking at the actual weather maps, if you guys, you guys don't gotta be uh, rocket scientists to know this, but usually the yellowish and the bluish, you know, heat, cold, you know, very simple. So by looking at this, okay, this one is kind of neutral. Uh, I still call this neutral. Don't quite like it for to go long. I rather short. Uh, at this level, especially because we haven't seen any type of trend change when it comes to weather, whether it's staying, you know, pretty mild. So, and take into consideration, it's almost December and we need to see some type of cold weather. We need to see more snow. We need to see, you know, 20 degrees, things like that. But I do think when it comes to January, February, we sh should see a higher increase on uh, demand of natural gas because I think January and February, according to what I've been reading and looking and researching, I think that's gonna be our cold weather and that's gonna be our basically our time to go along. But remember that most traders look at, you know, three to six weeks out when it comes to natural gas uh, weather models and they start trading basically, you know, six weeks ahead of time or five weeks ahead of time to kind of get in that perfect spot. But once they're in that perfect spot, 
that's the time that you got to kind of, you know, keep looking at the weather to see if there's going to be a change. And if you are positive, make sure you get out. And if you're negative, still make sure you get out. You know, remember always to have stop losses. If it doesn't go your way, should not continue with that trade. That's just my personal opinion. This is by any means, any type of financial advice. This is just my opinions what I think the market is going to do based on the weather models. So remember, if you like the weather models and you want to go more into details, go to the description down below. Hit that, uh, that link for HFI or weather and make sure you subscribe. So if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Thank you.